So we are starting with the basic sleeve today. You need to get this worksheet. The link is below. It's just about four pages. It's a PDF. Now it just has a list of things you may need. Pencils, rulers, paper, etc. It has your fraction decimal conversion table. You can do this exercise in inches or centimeters. Go ahead. And next you have your sample page. Here I have filled in some measurements so you can see how the calculations are done. You have your full arm length, underarm length, shoulder to elbow, your bicep plus one inch ease, your hand measurement, front arm hole of bodice, back arm hole of bodice. Now, front arm hole of bodice, back arm hole of bodice are taken from your bodice. So you have to have drafted a bodice to attach this sleeve to. Same with the sleeve head. The sleeve head is taken after you draft the sleeve. So you'll fill that in later. Remember, there is a link to how to take measurements attached below or up here somewhere. So check that out. Now for calculations, for the sleeve head, you're going to take your sleeve minus front and back armhole to get how much ease we have. I'm going to explain all this later in the video when we're doing it, but this is where you're going to fill in those calculations. Basically, we want to distribute the ease between the front armhole and back armhole. So it'll make sense then. Next, you have a blank page for your own information. And finally, you have a sample of the sleeve that we'll be drafting. This is just a basic straight sleeve. And some of this, or should I say the, num the numbers and the letters here are just for communication. You don't have to memorize them or anything. So I will explain when we get into the video. So, uh, oh yes, I'm forgetting one more thing. These numbers, the half inch, five eighths and the rest, these are variables. They're what I put here are just like an average. You can make it bigger or smaller depending on the curvature of the sleeve head you are going for. Right. Now for a sleeve, you want a reasonably long sheet of paper and it's best to start at the center of the paper because we are drafting the whole sleeve. So first I square down just a straight guideline. Then I mark point A, usually about an inch or two below the top of the line. So you always give yourself some room. So A to B is your full arm length. Okay, then B to C, I'm, it's actually from the bottom, measure from B upwards to C, put your underarm length, that will give us our cap height. Our cap height is A to C. So that's what we're doing. So that's point C. Now at point C, we're going to put in our bicep line, make sure it's a straight perpendicular line. Next, A to D down is your elbow depth, that's your shoulder to your elbow. Here I'm just going to put in a short guideline for now. So we're just establishing the grid and the proportions of the sleeve. And this is line E to F. It is your bicep measurement. You will distribute equally. So E to C and C to F are the same measurement. At point B, I'm putting in a guideline. Now I'm just going to put in the measurement used for the base. You can measure line EF and remove two inches just to taper the sleeve, or you can use a specific hand measurement if you want. So I did provide your hand measurement in your worksheet. You, you can always use that, or you just reduce E to F to a smaller size, maybe by two inches to make it tapered. Now we're going to connect. And this completes our sides. Okay. 
extend that elbow line to the edge. We'll just call these uh, points I and J. So this is our elbow, our wrist, but it should be our base, but it's still your wrist. It's the same thing, your bicep. Now complete the crown. Just join A to F and A to E. And that completes your crown. Now we're going to shape our sleeve head. This is not an exact science. Basically, we like the front to be more curvier, like have deep, deeper curves than the back. So for the front, we divide it into two, where I marked point one in the middle. For the back line, I'm going to divide that line into about three points. So, so you see I divided into three. I'm going to label that point two and point three. So it's just for proportions. Now between A and one, I'm going to go up about five eighths of an inch. This could just be half an inch too. It's the same. It's okay. It's more about just creating a guideline between E and one. Going the other direction, I'm going to go with almost the same line. Could be five eighths of an inch too. We want a nice deep curve between three and F. We want a very shallow curve, so we'll go a little lower. This could be about three-eighths of an inch, a quarter of an inch, or one centimeter. And then here, a point two, almost five-eighths of an inch, half an inch. So it's they are guidelines you can adjust depending on the curvature you're going for. It's just to give us something to work with. At the top, at point A, you see I made a straight line. That's to prevent me from going out of bounds. I don't want the curve to go above point A. So here you're just going to see how I'm going to shape this curve. I will try to touch the guideline, but if it doesn't match perfectly, that is still okay. What I'm really paying attention to is the smoothness of the curve, making sure it transitions from point A to point one to point E in a smooth line, and that's it. Always make sure you flatten the sleeve out at point E because it's going to connect to point F when sewing and you want it to be a smooth transition. For the back, we're going to go from A all the way to three. So you're jumping over two. Once again, I'm trying to find a smooth line. Then I go from three to F. So you see, it didn't really touch the guideline at two. That is fine. I'm really just paying attention to the curve and how it glides naturally. And that's fine. And we have our sleeve cap complete. Next, we're going to divide the front and back proportionately because usually your front armhole is smaller than your back armhole. And we have to make sure the sleeve matches. Now we are going to measure our sleeve head. You're going to put this measurement in your worksheet. And in the smaller window, you can see I'm also measuring my armholes of my bodice. Measure the back, measure the front, and also put that in your worksheet and do the calculations as instructed. Now, when you get your answer, what I'm doing is measuring from the back, which is point F. I am putting in my back armhole plus ease measurement that I got in my worksheet. I'm just measuring it along that line and stopping wherever the measurement stops. When I get there, that is point X. So I've essentially divided the sleeve head into 
front and back again, making sure they correlate with the armhole of the bodice. And then I'm just going to square down from point X down to the wrist line in a straight line, creating a new center line. Now, of course, if all this doesn't make sense to you, you can always go to the website where I have full written instructions and illustrations for you to see and digest. So now that we've put in this line, this is essentially our new center line for our sleeve. This is important because a lot of times your back is slightly, if not much more bigger than the front because of the shape of the garment. And I'm then smoothing out the curve of the sleeve at the top, just right there, so that everything goes together. And now we can move on to truing our sleeve. Now with the sleeve cut out, I left the base uncut. What I'm doing is folding the side right to my center line. Remember the new center line. Just let it try and fold, um, should I say naturally, how it wants to fold. Fold the other side to meet. Because this is how a sleeve is sewn. So you should fold in this position to make sure your sleeve is balanced. Right, so now I have my sleeve folded. So I'm going to correct the wrist and the armhole. Basically for the wrist, I'm looking at the line at the corners, right at the edges. I can see the original line I drew. I'm just going to connect that point to the other point. Yes, this point to this point in a straight line. And for the bicep, I'll make sure the curve flows into the other curve in a smooth line. That's it. And cut. Same here, if there's any discrepancy, I'll just trim that off and now our sleeve is true. You can see the bottom is a little curved and that's what you want. So we're done. Thank you and goodbye.